Hey guys and welcome to another video. My name's Amy and I do a variety of videos of what I feel like. Um, so yeah, um, if you want to like then please do so. Comment, I do reply to everybody and if you want to subscribe and join the family then please go ahead. So yeah, in today's video we're just going to be doing an everyday makeup look um, simply because it's that time between Christmas and New Year where it's basically nearly New Year now um, and I suppose... I don't know, I think, I don't know, I personally feel a bit low, so I thought I will just glam myself up and hopefully feel better. I think it's because I'm working out less, it's the reason why, um, but obviously I'm planning to get back into it. I already have worked out um, a couple of times already, but it just, you know, I don't know, I just get that feeling. I think it's because, like, obviously you overeat and stuff, not that I have a lot, but chocolate's always there. And I think I've been eating like worse than usual, so it plays a part. But anyway, um, just let's get on to this makeup look. So let's go. I've currently been into this uh, tinted beauty cream moisturising with cactus blossom extract in ten light by Essence. Um, it's just a moisturising cream. It doesn't really have um, any coverage as such. Um, can we just say how cute this little mirror is from Primark? It's two pound fifty, and it's amazing. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop that on. Um, try not to get it on my white jumper because that would not be good so it does come out as a colour but there's a I was going to say video there's a mirror behind and obviously I literally just rub it in with my fingertips obviously have clean hands um so it does give coverage but not a lot. I apologise for the background noise. Obviously as you can see I am filming in my bedroom again simply because it's too cold to go outside in my little workout slash filming shed. This is a I just love this. I don't I'm not a thing I'm uh, not a thing. I'm not a person for like full coverage makeup especially now when you have to wear masks anyway because like, on my skin it, it just takes it off and it looks worse I may as well just have we wearing no makeup to be fair um but I'm just loving this also I haven't been fake tanning or anything simply because when I work out it rubs off so obviously currently I cannot fake tan or anything so I'm very pale but it is what it is so yeah that's just like literally one pump of it so as you can see it's not it's not very full coverage but it is a nice it's a nice finish it's natural you can't really tell like but it's it's done something it's made me glow a bit and I really like that I think it's really like quite inexpensive so I will probably will purchase that again <clears throat> so yeah really recommend that um, now I've got these two concealers I think one's nearly empty this one and this one but um, I've got them in the shades 3 ivory and 5 fair so and the collection ones um, concealers so yeah then I'm just gonna pop that I've got I think this is number 5 fair because like normally when you go to get concealers, collection ones are normally quite sold out, obviously because they're quite, they're really good. But it's always the most popular shades that I need. Um, put it around my nose, and put it on that. There, I might just put a bit. There, just some extra coverage. Like so. <coughs> excuse me and then I'm just gonna get this little brush here uh, are they clean probably not but I'm just gonna buff it in this is my foundation brush though I don't expect it to like conceal that spot at the end of the day a spot is there and people are just gonna have to get over it we all get them at the minute my under eyes have been annoying me because I have an actually like creasy under eyes and because I know it's there it annoys me but we can't all be perfect right I think naturally um, quite well we're supposed to have creasy under eyes but 
maybe it's just because I'm tired. And then we're just going to get a, literally this is oh, my go-to at the minute. I've got these Revolution Pearls, I'm trying to use this one up and it's £5 and this one's in the shade P2 and I will get that um, with this little mermaid brush, a little dab it and um, I'll just pop it under my eyes. Just to set my under eyes. I do have another one, but I think no, I'll dab it on the top. Like so. And then uh, I don't really get oily, but I'll put it on my nose and I'll put on my little spot. Big spot even. And just down here. Today I'm going to be using my old favourite which is the Chocolate Heart one by I Heart Revolution. It's really um, old as you can see, it's only the packaging, there's nothing wrong with the product. Um, and I'm going to put that, this is where it all goes wrong guys, I'll put that there. kind of want a yeah, new um, contour brush so if you can recommend any then comment down below because I think face brushes, I need to get some like better ones. So now <clears throat> I'm going to do a bit of contouring. So I normally do this. Not all the time though. Uh, and I'm just choosing random things out of here now. But all of these have been used. So and in fact, let's use this one because I can show you it's been used. So it's a Sculpt and Glow. It's a glow, really weird. So I'm going to be using this contour shade and this little brush with this little flat brush I'm just going to contour my nose uh, this is something that I don't normally do like if I'm going out I won't do it but I just thought although this is an everyday makeup look I did this um, I did this yesterday and I quite liked it so maybe it'll become an everyday makeup look this just contouring my nose I don't think I really have to because I have a pr pretty small nose the blusher that I'm going to use is the Revolution and it's in Ballerina I would like to get um, some more of these so I might I want a pack of peachy one I think they're really inexpensive but I would like one by I Heart Revolution. And I'm gonna wait until the, um, I'm gonna say Boxing Day sales, but they're kinda gone. The New Year sales. This is from Home Bargains, and it was like 99p, and it's the W7 Glow Motion Extreme Eye, Extreme, Extreme Eye Shimmer Highlight and Eyeshadow. It's like this, and it's like this. We just try and do a swatch for you. like that so it's quite it's, it's, it's slightly champagne-y but I like it because it's quite subtle I'm not one for a massive well I say subtle but if you build it up it can be um you know quite intense I guess but I just really like it I need to blend that out there oh dear well normally on every day I'll probably use this recently anyway I have so yeah or like a new nude palette or something but I'm going to go with this one and I'm going to use this shade here because I did do a review on this when I first got it and next next we're going to go in with the brown and I'm going to just do it on the outer bit of my eye should I say so yeah I'm going to use a different brush I don't really know what these brushes are <coughs> It's obviously got a name, but I'm not that professional to actually say the name, because, yeah. Okay, so for a little bit of a change, I'm going to be putting a different colour that I normally wouldn't wear under my eyes, but I'm going to, because apparently it's supposed to make hazel eyes pop. And I'm going to use a, a like a green, I don't know what colour, kind of green. This is a sample palette, I love this palette. Uh, probably this one here. Mm, probably this one 
next to the brown. I'm going to pop that under my eye. I'm going to do that. It's really dark. Hmm, maybe it wasn't a good idea, but hey, hey ho. Right, so it's definitely darker. <coughs> so, as you can see, it's kind of blendy. I don't know if that green was a good thing, but I'm going to put more green there. I don't really know why. I don't really know why. What am I doing? But yeah, I'm just going to go off camera and fix this because obviously I've gone a bit crazy. So, <clears throat> so now we're going to get a gold, which is going to be the middle one because it's like proper dripping gold. And we're going to put that... Yeah. Because clearly we're crazy. I just feel like it's messy around here, but it's like my eye shape is kind of annoying, so I don't really know how to fix it. So yeah, I'm going to try and fix this as much as I can and I will be back. Okay, so now that we have done that, I'm going to do my inner corner and I've got the Gold Revolution Pro Highlighter Palette and I'm going to grab this one here and I'm going to try and do the inner corner like so. Eve look so we could change it like was and that was an everyday look and now a new year's eve look and um, because that's kind of the way i'm going with this it seems but, um so yeah i've just decided to rename the video as you do uh next we're gonna be doing um so that's my eyes are gonna be finished um they're not the greatest but <laughs> i don't claim to be anything great um, next we're going to do eyebrows because that is probably the order that i would do stuff it's by body collection <coughs> Excuse me. And it's just a clear eyebrow thing. Eyebrow gel, I believe, believe. And I'm just gonna put them up like that. Not that you can really see, but and I'll just spike them up because I'm into the natural brow at the minute. Never thought I would say that. Um, and then I leave that to dry, obviously. So we're gonna be doing mascara. I've got my little trusty contraption here, my medieval torture device, and we're just gonna grab my eyelashes using said contraption. These are really inexpensive as well. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put the uh, eyeliner on because that helps. That helps. But no, I've just got this old gosh black eyeliner. I do want a brown though, but I don't think I've got brown. I've got brown. Okay, so brown eye. Brown eyeliner complete. I got one, but I think it's like half gone in my eye, so yeah, complete but not complete. So, anyway, we're going to use this mascara. I've got an eyelash in my eye or something. Something's annoying me. This makeup video is going really, really well in it. So, yeah, so you can just see how good this. Mascara is. I clearly won't do it justice because I'm not great at putting on makeup. So if you like long lashes, this mascara is probably for you, if you don't, it's not. I 
I feel like it's got a good brush because you can get into your little underneath lashes. The only thing <clears throat> about this mascara that is a bit annoying that I've noticed um, is that sometimes it will transfer underneath a little bit. Um, on me it does anyway um, but nevertheless I think it is a great mascara especially for the price so now we're gonna do eyebrows and obviously let's hope they've kind of set whatever they want to do now recently I've been having a bit of issue with my eyebrows because they, they annoy me but I just literally oh, by the way this pencil is from Daiso in Japan it was like a quid Daiso is a Japanese pound shop and all I do is literally line where my natural brow will go, kind of, like so, and then I just brush it in, blend it in, like so. It goes a bit waxy, it's my only concern, but I still like it. Always around here, about it is my head in. I like that. But that I really believe is just my awkward brown, so like just there it's like really, really and it really annoys me. <coughs> like the past few days every time I do it it's just there uh, it's okay because they're supposed to be like all weird and stuff so it's like fine and then what I do I'm just gonna get that gel again which is full and I'm just gonna go over it just to make it a bit more natural well I'm going to call these out of bed eyes, eyebrows, and that's just, I don't know, spiky, that's how I like them at the minute, it probably will change and I'll probably have like skinny eyebrows or something soon, but that's how they are at the minute, so yeah, now the last thing is lips, and um, what lips do, do I have? So I'm going to outline my lips. And this is in shade wish I could tell you. It'll be on my lid. Just perfect number two. And so I'm going to leave it as that. <coughs> and then what I put in the middle, or as my main, is the, my favourite. It is by Heart Revolution and it's the caramel, salty caramel lip gloss I think. I always smell it, I don't know. And I put this on because I have dry lips in the winter. And I I love this combination. So yeah, now that is the finished makeup routine. Um normally I would curl my hair. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll be back. Uh, and also give my face a spray with some primer spray, which is, I have the um, Primark one. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna curl my hair and then I'll be back to show you the finito finale. So hey guys, I'm, I'm back. I've just finished my hair. If you're wondering what I used on my hair, it is a GHD Trizone Technology um, Curler. I actually got it off eBay for I think it was 30 quid I paid so yeah and I absolutely love it it yeah I just really love it so yeah you can get it really cheap just because it's GHG it doesn't mean it have to be expensive um because as you know I don't buy anything brand new so yeah just saying um but this is the final look um I 
and yeah so this was gonna be an everyday makeup look didn't really turn that out that way um so i'm gonna call it a new year's um, makeup look instead because i probably would wear something like this for new year's because it's quite sparkly oh look at my eye it looks weird it's quite sparkly and yeah so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please like comment subscribe if you want to and i will catch you in the next video guys so please stay safe and and happy new year i guess so yeah Bye, guys.